Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial uh, where I will show you how to make a 3D bullet effect uh, using Sony Vegas Pro and I am going with the version 11 but 10 and 9 works fine as well as long as I know um, so the first thing you need to do guys is to download the 3D bullet which can be found in the description right below under the video. Uh, once you have downloaded it, just do it like I do. Go to File, Import Media, and import your uh, bullet green screen uh, that I named. And once that is done, just go ahead and uh, make a video track and drag it to that one, and it will sadly automatically wait uh, make a audio track as well uh, but you don't need it because there are no sounds here so just right click and delete the audio track because you don't need it and yeah you can zoom in now a little bit and as you can see there is a green screen behind the bullet and you will need to remove it so just do as I do go to video effects go to chroma care and drag in the default one uh, I have made my own presets here, so you guys can just copy these ones. Um, so here they are. As you can see now, the green screen is totally, completely removed. Uh, so you can just copy these ones here, the settings that I've made here. Uh, just pause the video, uh, write them down in your own chroma key to have the same color and same second uh, settings here. Uh, so yes. So once that's done, uh, you can click this down here. And now you have your 3D bullet here and you will need a cinematic. So I will see you guys in the battlefield in a second. Hmm. Uh, All right, guys. So now we're here in Battlefield Heroes and uh, I'm here with my Royal uh, Commando and he's more than ready to record some cinematics. So the first thing you will need to, to do is to equip truth traps, preferably level 5, so you don't have to wait for too long before they are ready to use. Um, the first step is to place one in the middle, because you will now go in a half circle, like you go around the, uh, the uh, 3D bullet that you will later add again in the uh, Sony Vegas. So. First of all, place a troop trap around the middle where you think you want the uh, middle to be. Just place it somewhere here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make this a lot better. Don't want to actually put my own footage that I will record now in the description so you guys can download it. So you don't have to do it yourself if you find it hard or something. So place the first troop trap there. Um, and this second troop trap should be somewhere here so just back a little and place another troop trap and the third troop trap should be right across this one so should be somewhere here maybe should be wrong should be should be good sorry um and then you're ready to record and these troop traps are here just to mark where you are going to go so you uh, get a kind of a good half, cir half circle. Um, so you just duck and uh, have your uh, view kind of looking a little bit to the sky. See a little landscape there. And uh, then just go. You can take this very slowly. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can just go a half circle here, and there we are done. So that's it for the cinematic parts. Uh, now I will see you guys again in the uh, Sony Vegas. Uh -huh. Alright guys, now we are back again in Sony Vegas, uh, and we have recorded our footage, and also known as our cinematic. Um, so now we are going to import it to the file, uh, to the uh, to the video. I'm sorry. 
So just go ahead and uh, click on File, Import Media and Media. And then you click here to open it. To drag it into your Project Media. And by there, drag it down to a new video track. And I made that new video track before I started to record. And the most important tool here is to have your cinematic track below under your bullet uh, track. Uh, it's really important because if I would put these ones like this, the bullet wouldn't exist. So it's really important that the bullet track is above the other one. And then just remove the sound. Uh, yeah, the sound. And then search up the part uh, where I actually made those cinematics. Which I think it's, yeah, it's somewhere here. Um, and just, just zoom up in a little bit to make it more clear. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm stop starting to walk there. I'll just zoom in a little bit more to make it a little bit easier to find the part here. somewhere there and just split your video now by clicking on your S button on your keyboard press S to split it and delete the first part here and then find the end of this which is somewhere yeah here is perfect so then mark your video it looks red and then click S again to split it and delete your second part and now you will place this part here at the beginning of your video so just zoom out again and place this one right here so now it should be perfect um, I'm not gonna sync these ones too very well but the important thing here is that when this one, this bullet here, is at the middle, which it is right here, which you can see, uh, your uh, footage should be this well. So I think it is perfect right now. Here you will see here. Uh, yeah, just mark this one here, which says solo, so you only will see your footage for a while here. Make sure you are at the middle here. Which is somewhere, yeah, somewhere, somewhere here I think it is. Um, and now just uncheck this box here. Um, I just go ahead and make this one a little bit slower. Have them no no don't do that and uh, now press control set to uh, undo that because uh, I think it's perfect like this I won't sync them too much the important tool now is to remove these bars here and my character so go ahead and click on the event pan crop button here um, and actually before we do this we could re disable resample so go ahead and click on your video right click go to switches and make sure it is on disabled resample um, I won't give you any explanation what that does but promise uh, to believe me uh, it makes the video look so much better um, so now go ahead and click on event prank crop and before you do anything here make sure go to source click on maintain aspect ratio and click that to you know that's really important because uh, if you don't click no when you're going to change these ones here, it's all going to be black. And I don't want that. So I'll just restore this one and make sure it's no here. And make sure that these two boxes here are unchecked before you start to crop. So now you want to remove your character here. The uh, picture there of my character. And yeah, by the way, make sure you do this at the beginning of the video. So go ahead here, click there on that keyframe, and now just remove your little image there, just let this one see, 
and now it's out of, out of screen so it's like perfect for me now and now go at the bottom of the video and just remove your character should be fine like yeah somewhere there it doesn't have it to, to have to be perfect I mean I'm fine with that if you guys want to work further with it just do it uh, but I'm just gonna make this quick so now it's done you won't see your character nor any troop trap or your ability bar so there we kind of have the effect um, I made it I made this really quick uh, I know as I used this effect in my fifth short clip and then it took more time because I kind of worked frame by frame to make it look perfect but you know the, the kind of tactic to make it now uh, so I think that's it um, and I will put the cinematic uh, as I said in the video uh, I will put it in the description to download so you don't have to record it yourself because maybe you want to try this effect uh, before you do it yourself um, and feel free to leave any comments uh, please thumbs up the video if, if it helped you out and uh, feel free to subscribe for more tutorials or gameplays or montages